I'm from the Philippines. I'm from Phoenix. Together, Together we're, we're Phil's Phil's to Phoenix. Phoenix. Two countries. One heart. Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our weekly, uh, yeah, our Chica Chica. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a month. It, it's been definitely been a while. Yeah, a while. Actually, I think it's been, it may have been longer than a month even. Six weeks, yeah. Yeah, it's been... Yeah. I think it's okay. been a good six, eight weeks. Yeah, so anyway, so we're here today to give you an update on what's going on. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and that's part of the reason why we haven't even bothered trying to do Chica Chica. Stuff has been changing so stinking quick. Yeah. By the time we say it, something different is actually happening. Yeah, so right now we don't know when we're going to go, when it, we don't we have dates because of this COVID thing and... Yeah, so life just, like, rolling. Yeah, because it's even changed what we're packing, how long we're packing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that it, it... And we don't know, and it's just like, we surrender it, everything to God. Mahala na, ang ginoo. Mahala na ang Diyos. It's, um, we live it up to the God, and I know that God is in control, because... We try to stay home because we have a stay home order here in Arizona. Yeah, Arizona, Phoenix has kind of sort of been under a, a, a self-quarantine, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> that they've shut a couple of things down. Uh, barbershops, restaurants. They shut the restaurants down way early. Yeah, that was like... Um, barbershops took a couple Third of week of March. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's been two months since we've been able to go out for dinner. Yeah. But they're still doing takeout and delivery. Yeah. Uh, my boy actually does Uber Eats, and it's been uh, a, a really cool thing for him. That uh, He's doing it as a side gig. Yeah. And he's been able to make a couple hundred bucks a night uh, that he's been doing it. Yeah. That, that he's been able to make a decent, uh, a lot better money than he normally would. Yeah. Uh, because they cut his hours back at work. That He does. He works for a uh, dairy company here. Yeah. Uh, food, food warehouse. And that they, they've cut his hours back because With they COVID. haven't been getting the hours that they normally, or the orders that they normally would. Yeah. And so they haven't been shipping the product that they normally would. So he's been doing three tens and has had more extra time. So. Yeah. So we don't really, yeah, I'm busy. I'm kind of busy because I have a, a lot of Filipinas, so I just spend more time with them. I've seen her less now than I did when she was at work. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so I, I enjoy hanging out with my friends. We make masks. We're volunteering to make masks for the church to be um, donated to Banner Hospital. Uh oh. So, and then I learned how to sew. Finally. <laughs> Finally, after four years and a half. When she first got here, she was uh, she saw sewing machines and she asked about it. And she said she'd really like to learn. Yeah. And so we got a sewing machine, and life interfered, and neither one of us ever really used it. That I hemmed a couple of pair of pants. That you do. That was about it. But, uh, yeah, I feel like a, there's a lot of realization with this COVID thing. There's a lot of advantage and disadvantage. You know, like staying at home. One is we were able to save money because we don't really go out and I go to the restaurants, right? And we, we've also done a, a little bit more uh, cutting back just yeah. knowing because money's going to be a little bit tight for the next little bit Yeah. Uh, until we leave or realize that we're not going to leave and we don't, know. don't get off our butt and actually get a job. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so but, we don't know. And right now, as long as we do a reasonable cutting back, which we did, we can, leave, we, can we can get by on on my income alone. Yeah, that we'll live okay, but we're not going to be able to go out and do much or anything like that. And overall, we don't really need so much to go out for the past four years. Anyhow, we've been like, you know, luxurious and being comfortable. Okay. Whatever we think, we can get it, right? We've okay. lived within whatever means we've had at the time. Correct. And when we've had extra money, we found ways to spend extra money. So. Yeah. And we we actually did really well, like, overall with our lifestyle, with yeah, our marriage. We've taken, with... we've taken several 
really cool vacations. Yeah. Very so. expensive vacations. And well, I, I'm not going to say we frivolously spent money, but, but we did find ways to enjoy ourselves. Um, it's true. But what else? What is... Uh... Uh, at this point, what we've came up with for a determination on when we're going to leave is... We don't know. We're going to leave two weeks after international travel opens back to the Philippines. Yeah. Whatever date that happens to be, whether that's June, July, or January. Yeah. <laughs> and at this point, any one of those three is entirely possible. Yeah, so we don't know. Uh, and we're, we're saying two weeks after, and that, that would give them time to get any of the kinks worked out or anything like that as far as incoming travelers and all that good rot. And as far as what we're taking and, and stuff like that, that's changed so many times and is still a little fluid. Yeah, we don't, we don't know. We just try to, right now we're trying to sort out things, pack things, clean up the office room so that your son can, you know, so the goal is just trying to, you know, sort out things. Right, with the rental agreement, Rick Rick has been here, so that's not a big deal one way or the other. But my son, his lease is up in August, so yeah. on the off chance that travel doesn't start until January or later, we still need that room open, and, and that'll give us a little bit of a... Help. Yeah, you know, help on, on getting packed no matter what time it, it takes off. So that one actually does need to happen. Yeah, immediately. Uh but other than that, there really hasn't been a whole lot of progress on any move updates because everything's been... On hold. Indefinitely. So, that's actually it. We just want to give you... Uh, we have started to go out and do a little bit more stuff. Yesterday we went out and did... The spotting scope. <coughs> you got a spotting scope. Yeah. And it's hot, so we need to make sure it's yeah. a lot early. It, it, it's already began to hot, heat up. So yeah, so it's like hopefully summer that will knock is out coming. The flu season quicker. Yeah, so we're praying that hopefully we're praying that this COVID thing will clear up as soon as possible because with the U.S. Econ economy and Philippines economy it's affecting the entire world. You know. Yeah, it is. This is getting way out of hand. Yeah. So. But I, I guess that's actually it for right now. Yeah. And. Hopefully we'll start doing these a little bit more, more regular. Regularly. Maybe not weekly, but regular, more regular. Yep. So that and would be it. Mabuhai. Cool.